Well, it's not looking good, but there's still hope. There's still air in that thing. Conceivably, that mini submarine that's uh, perhaps sitting on the Titanic. We don't know. It may have imploded. It may be down there. It may be on the surface somewhere. They are looking in an area the size of Connecticut, which sounds to me like the entire operation, uh, this whole idea of looking for the Titanic and that rickety thing was probably not a good idea. And it is rickety. Look at the company's own language in the waiver they make people fill out. It reads as follows. This experimental vessel has not been approved or certified by any regulatory body and could result in physical injury, emotional trauma, or death. Yikes. Uh, doesn't sound like it's ready to carry anybody anywhere. And um, a guy over at CBS uh, went on a ride on this thing last summer. David Pogue is his name, and I think he got the heebie-jeebies about this thing. I couldn't help noticing how many pieces of this sub seemed improvised. We can use these off-the-shelf components. I got these from uh, Camper World. We run the whole thing with this game controller. <laughs> Come on! It seems like this submersible has some elements of MacGyvery jerry rigness. I mean, you're putting construction pipes as ballast. I don't know if I'd use that description of it, um, but there's certain things that you want to be uh, buttoned down. So the pressure vessel is not MacGyver at all because that's where we work with Boeing and NASA and the University of Washington. Everything else can fail. Your thrusters can go, your lights can go, you're still gonna be safe. So that guy is down there. He's the head of the company. His name is Stockton Rush and he's down there. We hope he's okay along with his friends and customers. But did you see the, the controller? It looks like, yeah, it's, it's, it's a leftover Game Boy. This is crazy. Uh, we had an update, several of them actually, from the Coast Guard. We know there's about, uh, there's about 40 hours of, of breathable air uh, left based on that initial report. Again, uh, that was just the initial report based on 96 hours uh, from when the vessel... Um, Captain, Captain, Captain. If the sub is located, that's a question that then, then the, uh, the experts seem to look at what is the best course of action. Uh, for recovering the sub, but I think it's going to depend on that particular situation and, uh, and if we encounter that. Not sounding very optimistic, uh, are they? Oh boy, well, we really could use a miracle right now. Wouldn't it be great? If you want to see the Titanic, you can actually go online and see every picture that could ever be taken of the Titanic. All the pictures have already been taken. There's an amazing 3D kind of experience you can have with the Titanic. You don't have to go underneath, but wouldn't it be beautiful if they somehow found these people alive? Let's hope and pray. All right, Hunter. Sweetheart deal for the fortunate son, right? Must be nice to be a president's son, a senator's son. Remember that song by Creedence Clearwater Revival? More on that in a moment. What is the sweetheart arrangement? Hunter, well, will plead guilty to two tax misdemeanors. Struck a deal to resolve the felony gun charge and uh, no prison, no prison whatsoever. That does not seem to be even an option at this point. The laptop, the laptop we're told, wasn't even a factor in the investigation, at least according to Hunter's rather cryptic lawyer. Do you have any idea if um, Hunter Biden's laptop had anything to do with this investigation? Was it used? I don't. No, I don't. I mean, Were you I, ever asked about it? Um, I can't recall being asked about it, to be honest with you. Um, but there's nothing about the the situation that's being that's been filed that has a thing to do with the laptop. Why not? I don't know. You'd have to ask the prosecutors. Now, do we believe him? <laughs> does it have anything to do with the laptop? One more time, that little part. Does it have anything to do with the laptop? I mean, Were you I, ever asked about it? Um, I can't recall being asked about it, to be honest with you. Um, but uh, I don't recall, but uh, you never know, possibly conceivably, but uh, you'll have to ask somebody else. That guy, oh, by the way, the law firm where he works, guess who his law partner is? Liz Cheney's husband. How about that for, for Swamp, huh? So the fortunate son, Hunter Biden, has, uh, well, somehow he got away with it. Did he? How about that song? Credence Clearwater Revival. You know, 
you've heard it, right? Uh, how does it go? Uh, we can't use it because, well, it costs a lot of money, but there are these lyrics in the middle of the song. Some folks are born silver spoon in hand. Lord, they don't help themselves. But when the tax man come to the door, Lord, the house looking like a rummage sale. Yeah. Isn't that interesting, huh? Tax man comes for the kid with the silver spoon and they don't have the money to pay. You know, for all the talk of Donald Trump's tax returns and all the trouble they're putting him through, nothing about the taxes. Isn't that interesting? Joe Biden is a rich man somehow, and looks like so is his son as well. Is he going to not face any gun charge? Looks that way. He did. Well, he can't be trusted with a weapon. I mean, just look at this. From the laptop, this text exchange back and forth. Haley stole the gun out of my trunk lockbox and threw it in a garbage can full to the top at Janssen, some store downtown, then told me it was my problem to deal with. Yeah, these people should not have guns. Uh, then, then when the police... Uh, then when the police, the FBI, the Secret Service came on the scene, she told them she took it. All right. All kinds of drama between him, Haley and the rest and no consequences. He had a pretty massive tax bill, which we think was cleared up by his friend, just a friend named Kevin Morris, a big shot in the music industry. He became friends with Hunter a few years ago and now pays his bills and, well, gives him rides on private jets. When Hunter had to show up for that um, paternity matter in Arkansas, uh, he took a private jet, took his friend's private jet where he pleaded poverty upon arrival. Remember this, right? And Hunter has actually won the case, reportedly. New York Post had a story up today that said Hunter will uh, ha see his payments to his daughter, his unacknowledged daughter, but it is his daughter, paternity tests confirm, cut by 75%. He'll pay a lot less money, and the child will not be able to uh, have the last name Biden. How about that? That's something that Hunter fought. And what about Joe? You know, Joe is a cr proud grandparent. The president of the United States has an illegitimate granddaughter out there, unacknowledged by him and Hunter. So the next time Joe starts bragging about his grandkids, like when he did it this time. How many of you have been unable to hug your grandkids in the last seven months? I got six of them. All right. Well, just remember, every time he starts talking about his grandkids, he's leaving out one, a beautiful girl named Navy, who's about eight years old now in Arkansas. And her single mom, and they're trying to make a go of it in Arkansas. And that guy is not taking care of him, and he certainly has the means to do so. Hey, call up that rich uh, music friend of Hunter's if you have to. You keep hearing that the prosecutor who arranged this sweetheart deal for Hunter is Trump appointed. This is a Trump person all day long on the fake news. Trump appointed. Trump appointed. So there are a couple of hard facts here. This was a Trump appointed U.S. attorney in Delaware. U.S. attorney David Weiss. He was appointed by former President Trump. It was struck with a Trump appointed federal prosecutor, David Weiss, in Delaware. Yeah, not really. No, that's such a look. David Weiss is essentially a career prosecutor in and out of government service since the 1980s. OK, since the Reagan administration, he worked for Reagan. He worked for both Bushes and Obama. Take a look at all these presidents. OK, uh, a lot. Plus, you can throw in Donald Trump at the end. Donald Trump never met this guy. OK, there are thousands of people who have to be appointed. And unfortunately, the first time around, Donald Trump relied on the swamp thinking that they would act in good faith and give him good people and people would want to do the best for the country and not try to undermine Trump and help his enemies. But it has not worked out that way. Take a look. Is this the end of it? My understanding is that we're done. The statement from the prosecutor's office, from Weiss's office, said the investigation is ongoing. This is the statement announcing that criminal charges have been filed. It's obviously not the statement about the plea agreement. Are, are, are you led to believe that that investigation is ongoing, will be dropped once this plea deal is made official? I'm not led to believe anything. That's Mr. Weiss's statement. I think there's going to be a court proceeding. I think there are going to be agreements that are going to come out about the court proceeding. And I think... 
we'll, everyone will see what happens once that occurs. Would all right, so it's already been decided, and um, in this crazy kind of behind-the-scenes, not-a-democracy place, they'll tell us when they're ready to tell us. So is this justice for uh, Hunter Biden and for the rest of us? No, but this is a bizarro moment in America's history, right? What else is going on that makes no sense? A lot. George Floyd? Civil rights icon? I don't think so. Uh, the Horns guy and his friends on January 6th, worse than Al-Qaeda? No. The loss in Afghanistan was a loss. It wasn't a uh, strategic accomplishment, uh, logistics and all the stuff I heard about. Oh, we moved so many planes in so short amount of time. No, it was a horrible loss. Dr. Rachel Levine? is not a person who should be talking about children or even be near children. Leah Thomas is not a champion woman swimmer. Leah Thomas is an abomination. Uh, let's see. We've got the Labor Day speech. Joe Biden, this was in a speech to unify. He's not an empathetic guy. He is a divider and a hater. The FBI, once a long time ago, a professional bipartisan, nonpartisan law enforcement agency that ended a long time ago. Merrick Garland, what can we say? Thank God he's not on the Supreme Court. Joe Biden in that silly Corvette in the garage, classified documents back there, and nobody seems to remember. Nobody cares. That China balloon shot down just after it flew over the continental United States. Did that make one lick of sense? Somehow Hunter Biden gets to not go to jail, no more questions asked. I don't think Congress is going to leave it at that, but we all knew that Hunter was up to something, didn't we? Was that your laptop? For real, I don't know. I know, but you know that's... This is, I really don't know okay. what the answer is. That's you don't know, answer. yes or no, if the laptop was I don't have any yours. idea. I have no idea. So it could have been yours. Of course, certainly. It, 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 there could be a laptop out there that was stolen from me. There could be that I was hacked. It could be that there was the that it was Russian intelligence. It could be that it was stolen from me. And you, you didn't drop off a laptop to no. be repaired no. in Delaware? Not no. that I remember at all, at all. So we'll see. We'll see, is this it? Is this, it can't be it. We mentioned Congress and uh, I don't think it's over. Joe Biden says, well, what does Joe Biden say a few hours ago? I'm very proud of my son. Yeah, this is not the first time Joe has claimed pride in Hunter on an ignominious day. Can we call it that? Who remembers when Hunter was discovered to be going out with Bo Biden's wife? Uh, in other words, his sister-in-law. Yeah, once Bo was dead, they started dating. It was a horrible, horrible situation. It would ruin or destroy or at least embarrass any family, any normal family. What did the Bidens put out? When it became apparent, when it became public that Hunter was going out with his sister-in-law, we are lucky that Hunter and Haley found each other as they were putting their lives together again after such sadness. They have mine and Jill's full and complete support, and we are happy for them. They will say anything to gain and keep power, even this hideous stuff. Wow.